Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Motorcycle Rewind. And today we're back with the 1983 Kawasaki GPZ 1100. And more importantly, we're gonna figure out why the Speedo doesn't work. So for those of you who watched the, the video of us taking this 1983 Kawasaki on a 3,000 mile road trip, you will notice that this Speedo did not work. And I got lots of comments of you fixed everything, but you didn't fix the Speedo. And the reason why we, we didn't fix this Speedo is because I didn't realize it was broken until three days before we left. Actually, the Saturday, first time I rode this bike was a Saturday before we left. And then we left Tuesday morning. Last minute, Monday night, we were leaving Tuesday morning. I had this Speedo here and it was on the Kawasaki W1. I went ahead and took it off, plugged it in, knew it worked, knew it was a working Speedo, and then we went from there. Just start by snipping off these. I'm gonna get this guy off, then we're gonna pull the other Speedo off and see if we can figure out why it's not working. There we go, looks like we may have solved it. Good job. Speedo is out. And basically on the trip, guys, once I figured out what, um, let's say, the RPMs match the Speedo here, I basically just looked at the RPM gauge the whole time because I spent most of my time on the highway. So I knew that about 4,500 RPMs, 5,000 RPMs was gonna put me around 70, 75 miles an hour. That's kind of where I stayed. So let's pull, that, let's pull this Speedo off and see what's up. Looks like we're just about there, good job. Save those. The good thing about this dashboard, it gives you a handy dandy place to store your hardware. The Saturday, it didn't work. I didn't have time to diagnose it to see what was up, so I just had time to come up with a solution. Let's go ahead and plug this thing back in and see if we can figure out what was wrong with it. Okay, so what I'm gonna try to do is pull this uh, Speedo apart right here so I don't have to worry about trying to unplug it from that because if I do, I'm gonna have to undo the whole fairing, pull the fairing off to be able to get to it. I'm gonna have to pull this back off again, but let's see if we can just take this guy apart. Okay guys, got the last screw here. Let's see if we can get this guy off. There we go, see, but it doesn't return. Is there supposed to be a return spring on here? I think that's what's, that's what's doing. I'm missing the spring somewhere. Hmm, I don't know what I'm looking at. Hmm. Let me do some research to see if I can Pull this guy apart to figure out why it's not returning speedo, not returning to zero. That's what I need to figure out. Let me do some research. I'll be back with you guys in just a moment. Okay, we're gonna take off this speedo drive gear here on the back of this guy and see if if we have maybe just a maybe we're gummed up in there and that's why it's reading bad and that's why it's not returning to zero. It's gotta be something. So let's see if we can get some of this apart and see what we have. Oh shit, I'm gonna need that. Okay, found it. And then this other one. Okay, let's see what's what. Yeah, it could be, it looks like there's some crud in there. Yeah, that, that moves with it. So it could be just the crap in this gear. It looks like we've got some stuff. It's all gummed up in here. 
I'm just trying to be careful not to put it on the back. And then it looks like it's all gummed up in here too. If you can see in there, it's got all kind of corrosion. So let me see if I can clean that out, lube it up, and then we'll run this guy a bit and see if we can get that to spin over. See if we can clean it all up. We'll clean that up real good and I'll get back to you in just a moment. So now let's clean this guy up real quick. I'll get back to you in just a moment. GoPro, stop recording. So let's get these guy off just a couple of eight millimeters. Thankfully we've had this apart before, so not just to this level right here, not to the level that we're about to move to. So there's one. And two. Oh, I'm gonna need that. Thankfully I found it. So let's lift this guy up. Okay, there is our speedo mechanism. Let me see if I can show you in here. It's gonna be kind of tough, so you guys bear with me. There's a little spring right underneath this guy. It's a little spring that is not connected. Let's see if that helps. That is, doesn't look like it's connected anywhere. See, it's kind of hanging loose. It's super fine. So you can see it right in Make sure I see it right in here. It looks like it's, this is the one end it's connected on. And then it's probably supposed to be connected to the shaft right in, right in here, but it doesn't look like it is. See, it's moving around a little too much. So let me see if I can take this thing apart and see what it looks like. Okay, so here's the guts right here. What happened, what happened was this guy right here. This is a little spring that just wraps around this guy and then when it winds up, it winds back and it stops right there. But it is super, super fine. Let me show it to you right there. You can barely see it. Super, super fine. So probably what happened was when I first rode this thing, I snapped this spring. It had been idle for so long, it's rusty in here. So it was idle for so long that it probably just snapped. And that's why it, was, it would work, but it wouldn't return to zero. And that's how we ended up here. Okay guys, so we, uh, we solved our Speedo challenge. Well, we haven't fixed it, but we know what's wrong with it. So now I get to search online on eBay and see if I can find a set of gauges. I can put on and I'm gonna my gauge housing the housing the the lens the bezel and all that are in really great shape so I'm just gonna find one that has a functioning speedo and then what we'll do is we'll hook the drill up to it and we'll run it back to where we get the same numbers as this one plus we'll add our uh, Three, roughly 3,000 miles that we've ridden it since. So we'll try to keep it. So we have a, an accurate assessment of, of what we think the miles to be to the best of our knowledge. Speedo solved. So now we've got to kind of sort this mess back. I think I'm going to put the Speedo back together, the broken one, put it back on just so I can put it all back, have it all in one location all back together and then we'll um, we'll look to source one and we'll go from there. So guys, as always, thanks for watching yet another episode of Motorcycle Rewind. And do me a favor, like, tag, share, and follow us on Instagram at Motorcycle Rewind and go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And while you're in the subscribing mood, just wander on over to our friends, Brick House Builds, Gold Guy, Moto Mango, Lady Moto Bang, and Pete's Classic Cycle and give those guys a subscribe too. Thanks again guys and have a great day.